Dirtbags, what is going on? How's everybody doing today? Hope y'all are having a wonderful Tuesday. It's your boy Austin. I'm back with another climbing gear inspection video. So for all the climbers out there in the Mafia, this one's for you. This is going to help you guys kind of know what to look for whenever you're inspecting certain pieces of climbing gear. This is part two in the series. I'm going to go ahead and link part one up in the top right hand corner so y'all can check that out as well if you have not already seen that video. By the way, guys, the Mafia is so strong right now, guys. Ever since I dropped that two-month review video, we have gained like eight or nine subscribers. I think it's nine. Thank you guys for that. You guys are freaking awesome. Y'all are killing the game. I'm not going to just talk too much here in the intro. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all what you came here for. So this is the part two of our climbing gear inspection series. This video here is going to be focused on climbing rope inspection. So the climbing rope is one of the most vital pieces of equipment besides the harness and all the other pieces of gear. You know, this piece is ultimately what connects you into the system and what is going to keep you safe while climbing. It's really, really crucial to inspect your rope before every single time that you go out climbing, guys. I do want to stress that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and get this going and I will show y'all how I inspect my climbing rope and how you should be inspecting yours as well. So the first thing, guys, is rope protection. The main crucial step to keeping your rope safe is going to be protecting your rope while you use it and one good way to do that guys is to use a climbing rope bag now I use this one by Metolius this bag is awesome it's got a shoulder strap real easy to tote along as you go you know hiking to your climbs and as you approach your climbs as well um, you can fit a lot of extra gear in here as well besides your rope I use a 60 meter rope I've used a 70 meter with this bag it fits in there perfectly fine it also has a built-in rope tarp so whenever you're actually using the rope you can set it on a tarp so no dirt and different types of particulates get into the sheath of the rope and damage the internals of the rope this bag is awesome guys I think you can get it for like uh, like 30 bucks at REI um, then there's tons of different brands that make them so go ahead and check that out if you have a climbing rope and you don't have a bag that's something that you're going to want to use right into the climbing rope inspection guys you're going to want to get this baby out the bag now it's been a while since I've seen this rope here because I have been using my uh, my buddy's ropes whenever, whenever we're climbing as you can tell right off the bat this thing is pretty freaking dirty you know it's been used quite a bit but this thing is in good shape still and I have inspected it regularly. First thing you're going to want to check for guys is just any damage to the outer part of the rope which is actually called the sheath. So this is going to be the part that you're going to want to check. You're going to want to literally go over every single piece of this and just make sure that there's no excessive damage or excessive wear to the sheath of the rope guys. That's going to be really crucial. Um, just like a, a quick visual inspection of that. You want to go over every single meter of this rope so you're going to want to like really be very thorough whenever you're inspecting this now as you can tell this rope is pretty solid there isn't really any damage to it next thing you're gonna want to look for guys is you're gonna want to look for internal damage to the rope so as you go along guys you're gonna want to just kind of bend the rope and feel the inside of the rope or the core of the rope to see if there's any type of breakage to the core, any flat spots that may indicate that the core is broken, any bunching that may indicate that you have some problems with your core, because if there's a bunching inside of the sheath, then you know that there is something wrong on the internals of the rope. And also you're gonna wanna check, like whenever you're checking your sheath, you're gonna wanna make sure that there's no bunching in the sheath as well, because that means that there could be spots in the rope that are not um, you know, fully secure. As you're going along, just kinda make sure that there's no you know, internal damage to the rope. Everything feels feels nice and uniform, there's no flat spots, no super sponginess to the rope because that means that the internal core has actually been damaged as well. Just kind of feel it all the way around guys, make sure that everything's good there. This rope here seems to be good. I'm not going to actually check the whole thing on camera right now because it does take a little while, but I just want to give you guys the basics and a rundown of how you actually should be checking your gear. With that being said, I'm going to move on to the next thing. Next thing, guys, is going to be any type of burns or any type of chemical damage because this rope does take a lot of friction, so you want to make sure that it's not getting burnt or the sheath of the rope is not getting any type of excessive wear. So once again, guys, just run along every single piece of this rope and just make sure that everything looks good guys whenever you see a burn on a rope you're actually going to get like a hard plasticky feeling so really check that section um, you know any type of like minor damage to the sheath isn't going to be particularly um, a reason to retire the rope but it is going to be something to double check into something to keep an eye on as you continue to use the rope now towards the ends of your rope where you're actually tying in this is where you're going to get a lot of your of your wear and tear since you are constantly tying and untying these parts of the rope now what you can do is you can actually 
actually cut these pieces. Over time, it will shorten your rope and you will eventually have to retire your rope. If, you're, if you get a lot of damage like towards the first couple meters of your rope, you can actually cut that off and, uh, and then you know burn off the ends and you won't really have an issue using the rest of your rope since the middle does receive the least amount of wear. Next thing you're gonna wanna check, guys, is going back to the sheath, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any exposed sections of core anywhere on the rope. Just make sure that there's no core shots or internal, you know, external damage where the core is exposed because that's what that is going to ultimately expose you to this this sheath is here to protect the inside of the rope. So if the core is exposed, then you're gonna have an issue. Basically, you're exposing yourself to further damage very, very quickly. If that were to like, you know, scrape on a rock or something that could completely cut the inside of your rope and, you know, deem it completely ineffective and or injure yourself. And the main reason I'm making this video, guys, is I saw a video online the other day about, uh, you know, somebody falling, taking a fall, and their rope was actually sliced by the edge of a crack. And that kind of just inspired me to make this video because I want to make sure that everybody's being safe out there. And ultimately, like we said in the last gear inspection review video, guys, number one priority is making it home. Number one priority is always having a good time and not pushing it to the point where it becomes extremely dangerous. Let's keep this going, guys. Now, going back to the sheath, a lot of the rope inspection points are going to have to do with the sheath because that is ultimately what protects the inside of the rope. So you're going to want to make sure, like, uh, you know, like we reviewed in our uh, climbing harness inspection video, you're going to want to make sure that your sheath isn't extremely frayed. So that's going to mean that, you know, you're going to want to go back to that tennis ball effect where, where if it's too fuzzy, you're going to want to definitely retire that piece of rope because the sheath is actually not doing its job at that point. And it is worn to the point where, you know, it's probably not as effective as it once was. So guys, make sure that your sheath is nice and tight. You know, you see a couple little strings hanging off here and there, but that is nothing to be concerned about. As long as it is not extremely fuzzy and extremely worn you should be all right guys and the last thing I want to get at guys is keeping your rope clean so using the the rope bag is gonna actually help you with that but also making sure that you're regularly cleaning and maintaining your rope and if you guys want to see a rope cleaning video go ahead and drop a, a comment down below and let me know that you'd like to see that because I can show you exactly how to properly clean your rope without damaging it you know a lot of chemical cleaners and things like that will really start to damage the interior of your rope so you want to stay away from those um, but I can show you guys exactly how to do that if you're interested in seeing that drop a comment down below guys so with that being said keeping your rope clean is going to be very important because little pieces of rock and dirt will actually start to work their way into the sheath and they will actually start to damage and cut the interior fibers of the rope make sure you're keeping it clean guys make sure that you you know dust off your rope bag in between each climb um, you don't want to have rocks and stuff sitting in there and really working their way into the sheath thank you so much guys i do appreciate you watching like i said you guys are freaking killing it the subscriber count went way up after the last video i do really really appreciate guys that guys that is something that's going to help us out tremendously and that's something that's going to help us grow as a channel so thank you guys i do appreciate everybody watching the dirtbag mafia is so strong out here guys we are absolutely killing it we are the littest climbing channel on youtube and i'll be seeing y'all very very soon i think this week i have three days off in a row this is my first day off we have two more days off in a row so i'm going to try to bring you guys three videos in a row it's going to be a lit week guys so stay tuned for that and i'll be seeing y'all tomorrow Peace.